let's get started then yeah um welcome to the chaos dei working group diversity equity and inclusion working group um today is november 10th we are really glad to be here uh, if you haven't already and you're here right now please put your uh, name in the attendees section and uh, how are you doing today um so <clears throat> let's start off by picking a facilitator for next week is anyone willing to fil facilitate next week Not all at once. I can. Okay. Thank you, Chaos Community. You're very <laughs> kind. You're welcome. Okay, so um, next we have um, an action item for me um, to get the emails of the reviewers together. Um, so we just, dis I, I will need another week on this one. We just did discuss um, some outreach strategies that we're going to be building in the Badging Weekly. So if for anybody who doesn't know, the Badging Weekly is about uh, an hour before this, or an hour and a half before this meeting. Um, and it goes, it runs 30 minutes. And we just talked a little bit about what we're, how we're going to be appreciating the reviewers that we have for the, for the Badging Initiative, um, the people who do the peer review system. And, um, we are we we are working on that. It's going to take a little while, but I'll get the emails together. I'll send them to um, Chaos Human oh, Elizabeth Sheher, um, and we'll get that going um, by the by the at the same time next week. Um, and Elizabeth, you have a, an action item as well. Would you like to talk about that? Uh, is this the onboarding form? No. Oh no, this is the um, the referencing the DEI B three release. Oh, yes. Um, I did do that. I believe I put it in the newsletter. And did I tweet it? I don't actually know if I did. I'll have to look. If not, I can do that. Okay. Wow, we really blazed through a lot of that so far. Um, so, uh, oh, I, I totally skipped to the badging section. Maybe that's just my intu intuition there. Um, let's talk about creating criteria for what metrics are being reviewed. Let's jump back a bit. Um, I, I am so, so I'm so sorry I was stuck in the badging meeting still, I guess. <clears throat> so I, I'd like to make this a little, as interactive as possible. We want to talk about uh, what, so, so the background for this one is for anybody who doesn't know, um, we are going back and reviewing old metrics, but we don't necessarily have a process for doing it. It's, it's pretty, um, pretty on the spot right now. So, um, we're thinking about how we're going to um, go back. Is, is it like two, two releases ago that we go back? Uh, or is it the most recent uh, commit, I think was another suggestion. Um, what do y'all think about that, uh, about how we can uh, narrow that down? I'm kind of leaning towards going by the release cycle. That's just kind of my preference, because I feel like that's something that we could easily um, we, yesterday we also talked about in the spreadsheet, putting a separate column. Um, I think we talked about that here as well, um, just putting an extra column in that listed the date of the last release of that metric so that we could easily go by like what releases were two two releases ago, which would be roughly what like a year ago. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, generally. Um... So does that mean that we want to um, build a process for how we're going to look back at those metrics? Maybe that's a chaos weekly question. Yeah, it might be. And also we have that operations team that's being formed that they might have something to say about that as well. Like maybe there's something they could even automate, you know, or I don't know, something that would help us make that happen. So maybe we should flip this to the operations team. Um, so have we, have we, do, do we have any objections to going like previous releases, um, for like how we, how we review these metrics? Um, so do, do you know, Elizabeth, do you know when the, when the operations team meets? I don't, uh, I don't know that they have had a first meeting yet. I know that was on Matt G's 
um, list of things he's working on, um, but I don't know if he's been able to coordinate with Ritik and Yash and whoever else is going to be on that team, to be honest. I can um, put an action item to follow up with Matt on that. Yeah, sounds great. Um, I have a question. How have the metrics been reviewed in the past? Like, were they ever reviewed before, and how was that done? Yeah, we the the big um, as I understand it, we in the past we've been focusing on making new metrics, so we've been making metrics and kind of not looking back, which is why okay. we're doing that now. Got it. Yeah. It's a, it's a good thing to start, especially this far into the game. Um, and I guess we got a lot of questions for Elizabeth today. We, uh, we have this onboarding form that, um, that shows, actually you can talk about it, Elizabeth, it might be more useful that way. Yeah, um, so we got, uh, we sent that form out um, we only put it on Twitter and in the newsletter. I don't even think I made it to the mailing list, um, but it does also show up in Slack because there's like an automated connection between Twitter and Slack. So when I quote it, it went on Slack as well. Um, and we got 14 responses so far and that we just did this last week. Um, and we saw a few people joining Slack and mailing list and, um, also at the community meeting yesterday, which is kind of where I was pointing people um, in general, most of the responses. So like anytime someone filled out a response, um, I would respond with a, a tailored email based on like what areas they were interested in participating. So um, most of them, I would say actually 100% of them picked a bunch of different things. <laughs> so um, they're just really, they seemed really excited to just see how they could help in any way they could. So mostly I just sent people to the community meeting. I sent them to Slack. I sent them to um, the mailing list as well. And um, just to kind of get a feel for, you know, what chaos is all about and um, like the working groups and like how things, how, how like what our workflow is and, and things like that. So um, I did have one person, I believe, uh, also check a box for being a DEI badge reviewer. Um, but I encourage them to uh, attend this meeting as well, just to kind of get a feel for um, like, you know, what, what it is and what, what things we talk about and such. So um, I will, if I don't see that person show up anywhere, I'll probably follow up with them, at least for the badging. And honestly, like the badging is so smooth and awesome. Like that's such a clear thing that people can do. You know, it's, it's like, oh, I wish we had more things like that where I could, you know, like it's easy, it's it's cut and dry. It's like, here's this thing you can do. And that's something that I, I would like to see happen in the next year um, across chaos of like having more defined roles like that. Cause that was just really, I was really excited. Cause I was like, oh, I can actually point them to a, like a, an action that they can take. So um, I did point them to the um, DEI badging form and the, the website as well. So I don't know if they filled out a form or not, but um, but yeah, so great job DEI badging team. Cause that was really great. So that's the status. We'll see how things go. If people continue to stick around in the community and I'll tweet it, uh, every now and again as well. So just to kind of keep that thing going. Awesome. Thank you, Elizabeth. You're on top of things and that I think, um, that number of responses is really cool. I, I did not expect that to be honest, and it, it's really. Nor awesome. did I. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, "Oh, I need to send some emails out." <laughs> okay, here we go. Yeah. So it was great. Uh, I was really excited. Yeah. Um. So I'm sorry. I skipped straight to the badging stuff. I had been talking about it earlier today. Okay. So, see you later, Emily. Um. I had been talking about it earlier today, and I got stuck on it, but um. I think that's all taken care of at this point. Um, let's go ahead to reviewing elder metrics. I, I say elder um, in that spot, but um, let me go ahead and share my screen. Do we have um, Google Docs for these or should we make them? 
Ah, uh, that's a good question. I don't think we have one for this uh, board council diversity one yet. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make one now then. Um, so I'll share the I'll share the doc in here in just a second. But I think we can do. I think that's a, I think that's good um, for us to do. Okay. So if you see my screen here, um, I'm gonna go ahead and we don't have to do it in Markdown. Uh, whoever it is, uh, that would be me in this case that created the document can um, take it and bring it to um, bring it to like Markdown after we have edited it for a while. Don't worry about the Markdown. And um, okay. So let's go ahead and hop into this document and see what we can do. If it, if we're in um, if you have questions, please feel free to ask. I'm gonna pause the recording while we're working on this. Yeah, and I'd suggest go, I'd suggest in the top right going to suggesting mode instead of editing mode. It's fine. I'm just going down this rabbit hole of sponsorship versus mentorship <laughs> yeah agreed and like when i think of sponsorship i think of monetary yeah. sponsorship um and i don't know if that's just because of my previous roles where i've worked you know in sponsorships for for places and that was always monetary and sim similarly like with github sponsorship like that's all monetary so um i know we clarify it but i think it's still confusing i don't know and I think sponsee is a very weird word. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I this agree. It's really hard to read while you go through the doc. Yeah. Okay, let's put this on the docket for next week then and talk about, hmm, where is this coming from? Well, are you all about done with the metric then? Do we want to move back to the agenda? Sure. I'm just going to say we're confused about the meaning of this metric. So um, we've got another 15 minutes or so. Is there anything else we want to talk about today? Nothing special. I know it's a busy time for everybody in the academic space. Um, okay, so um, that seems like it's it then. We got a lot done for having four people and having a short period of time. So I'm happy about that. Um, and it, Elizabeth, you're gonna be um, uh, taking, taking over for next week and thank you for that. And, yeah, uh, I think that's it. Then thank you, everybody. See you later. Have a great day, everyone. Yeah, bye-bye. Bye. Bye. -bye. bye.